So more talk about isomerism. Stereoisomers, we've talked about before. Stereoisomers have the same molecular and structural formulas, but they differ in the orientation of atoms in space. And there are two kinds of stereoisomers. We have talked about um, diastereomers. These are um, these are isomers whose molecules are not mirror images of each other. And these are the cis-trans isomers that we talked about earlier with double bonds and with rings. What we're introducing that's new is the enantiomers. These are stereoisomers whose molecules are non-superimposable mirror images of each other. These are the chiral molecules. So they differ in the terms of handedness. The diastereomers are not mirror images of each other. Oops. This, I think, is a helpful diagram because it's hard to keep these, all these different kinds of isomers straight. So, do the molecules have the same molecular formula? If they don't have the same molecular formula, they're not isomers. They're just different compounds. If they do have the same molecular formula, like C8H10 or something like that, then they are isomers. Are the atoms bonded in the same order in the two molecules? If no, they are constitutional isomers. This is where the atoms are connected differently. So you might have a straight chain alcohol versus a branched chain alcohol, but their formulas are the same. Those are constitutional isomers. If the atoms are bonded in the same order, then they're stereoisomers. And then you have to look at whether they are non-superimposable mirror images. Diastereomers are not, they're not mirror images. The, um, if they are non-superimposable mirror images, those are enantiomers, those are the chiral molecules that we've been talking about today.